Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Why Not Budget, it's Lena, and today I will be budgeting, I will be creating my budget for uh, February 2019, so if you are interested in watching me plan my budget, continue watching. So I have already planned out um, my actual budget, so we're just going to go through everything together so that you can see how I planned my month out. Um... I'm just going to try to zoom in just a hair. So before I just jump all into the budget, I do want to welcome all of my new subscribers. And I want to say hi to you guys. Hello. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining the ride. This should be a fairly interesting journey, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and uh, just in case you don't know, I am somewhat following the Dave Ramsey's baby plan. I'm sorry, baby steps. And I say somewhat because I have not, um, I have not completely, like, let's see, I still waste money sometimes. Dang, there it is. I waste money sometimes, okay? <laughs> so recently I completed baby step number one, which is to save uh, $1,000. And so now on to baby step number two, where you pay off the debt as fast as you can using the snowball method. And so that's where we are. Now we're in the process of building our snowball. And hopefully when that snowball gets bigger, the intensity level will increase. And I will have that momentum I need. So if you are unfamiliar with Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps, um, I will place a link, I guess, below to his website. And you can go and, you know, read more into it yourself. So we'll just go ahead and jump into the budget at this point. Because I don't want to talk too long before I start doing anything. So... Our budget income for the month is $3,800, which includes my full income for the month, as well as the portion of the money that my husband gives me toward bills. So I like to do $0 budget with my paycheck, meaning that every single dollar I have or that I get, I like to put a name on it so that I know what I'm doing with it. Even if it's, you know, my Dollar Tree addiction, I need to be able to label that dollar so I know what to do. So first we have rent and that's $830. We have my phone bill for $80. We have prepaid cell phone bills and that's for two lines. Um, electric is $180.23. That shows us that it's still cold outside right now. Insurance is $128.96. Um, so some of you all may know my monthly insurance was only $110. However, we added roadside assistance and it has increased the insurance bill to $128.96. Internet $67.11, appliances $60. If you have questions about anything, leave it below and I'll answer it. A lot of this I've already explained in other videos, but if you have questions, feel free to leave it below and I will address them. So my total four walls, as Dave Ramsey likes to call it, uh, excluding my gas and groceries, is $1,346.30. So next, we're going to start on our medical expenses. For medical, I send Dr. Johnson $50 a month. For the hospital, we pay $75 a month. And my husband died last month, and we had to rush him <laughs> to the urgent here so that he can uh, be resuscitated. Okay, not really. He had a man cold, so, which really means he died, which really means, like, he had to be brought back to life, right? So he had a man cold, and... Um, he just thought he it was the end for him, so we took him to urgent care. Anyway, uh, the insurance paid everything but two eighty three eighteen, so I will make sure that that gets paid in full this month. So our total medical for the month is four oh eight eighteen. So next we have our debt, and so pretty much for all the five credit cards, we pay forty dollars a month for the credit cards. We have a department store card that I kind of went crazy on back in October when I was going through a little moment of uh, uncertainty in my life <laughs> and um, wrecked up a whole lot of debt. Yeah, sorry about that, but Lena, I'm so sorry. But yes, yeah, so I pay $100 a month on that. Uh, for my phone lease, I lease my cell phone and i pay 76 dollars a month on it we have two cars but only one car note so that's 430 student loans of 157.11 our total debt payment each month is 963.11 so 
Then we're gonna flip it to the back side and we're gonna talk about our cash envelopes and savings. So with our cash envelopes, these are for the categories that most people would just swipe their card for. But because I have a spending problem, I try not to swipe my card as much as I can. I just take all the money off and I leave about, I don't know, one or $200 there uh, if possible just so that we have a little cushion money uh, but other than that these categories I like to make sure that I have in cash so that I know once I'm done spending I'm done so we're budgeting $800 for the month of February for groceries uh, we do $100 a week on groceries so that's $400 for the month for gas uh, we budget $120 for the month um, for personal that's my personal I do $50 every two weeks and that's just to keep me sane um, household I'm budgeting 100 for the month and entertainment we're doing 30 for the month restaurants 30 for the month as well and then hobbies uh, $20 which is 10 a paycheck so basically like I said I have a Dollar Tree addiction so and I like to make things out of stuff I find at the Dollar Tree and so that leads us to $800 for our cash envelopes. So the next item we have is under savings and sinking fund. I have, I'm attending a retreat in September of this year. So I'm setting aside $60 per pay period, which will be $120 for the month. Uh, car maintenance, $50 a month, $25 per pay period. Vacation in April, $50 a month, $25 per pay period. And my moving fee. So with the vacation in April, that's actually me going home for work. Uh, my job is flying me back home for training. Um, and so I will, I just want to already have spending money saved because I will get paid while I'm in town, but I don't want to use any of that money while I'm in town, if that makes sense. So I want to already have a set amount of money set aside that I will spend while I'm there so that I can still create, you know, my real budget um, for my actual paycheck that I get in April. And moving fees, my lease is up in May and we plan on moving basically because we don't like it here. And we need more room. I need more room for work. So next is the snowball of $200. And with the snowball, that's, uh -oh, that's basically the amount that I will use to throw at my debt for the month to go ahead and get some of this stuff um, knocked out the way. And so, yeah. And we'll build a snowball from there. So now I'm just going to go through and make sure that I have enough money coming in to afford this life that I have created for myself. Um, so we have our budgeted amount of income for the month at $3,800. Minus $1,346.30. Minus... Um, out of this 40818, this 28318 will actually come off of the HSA account. So we will only pay 125 out of um, cash. And our total debt payment is 96311. So then we'll subtract 96311. So next we're going to um subtract our cash envelopes and all the savings and all that so we'll subtract 800 minus our savings and sinking fund total at 270 minus our snowball at 200 and then we get the remaining balance at 95.59 so after we've paid all bills and expenses we'll have 95 dollars and 59 left over as our cushion or I guess you could just most people label it as miscellaneous maybe I don't know but we're gonna just save it there for cushion in case we need it for something else or something comes up that we have not already planned for for the month we'll so have that money that is my February budget with each paycheck that I receive I'll come back so that I can um, I'll come back so that I can show you all how I budget each paycheck to pay off our, our bills and expenses and things like that. 
So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks so much for watching my budgeting video for February and I hope you have a great day. Toodles!